What's great about a Mizuno wedge is not only does it have all the precision of our MP irons, all the craftsmanship, all the look, but it's also grain flow forged. Really, what grain flow forging does is it delivers the most feel, the most feedback you can get in a golf club. With your wedges, that's the number one spot where you need that feedback. You need to be able to know if you're missing it a little bit. You need to be able to control distances very precisely. And by using a forged wedge, you know you're going to get all that feedback. What's so much fun about a wedge is it's a, such a versatile club. There's so much going on with it. You have to think about all the different shots that you play with the wedge. It's not just for one straight set up, hit at the specific distance. A wedge is something that has to work on a full shot, has to work on a half shot, has to work on a quarter shot. So it's something that takes a lot of thought and a lot of precision to make sure it's a good performing wedge. On this, we really wanted to make everything very smooth, very traditional, very clean. So you'll see there's no hard edges on the grind on the sole, and it's very, very fluid how it flows into the hosel. So you got a really thin section on the hosel, which is really helpful for going through heavy rough. You're not gonna get that drag because of that thin section. It's something that we really just wanted to smooth out and just give a really elegant piece of equipment. When we're working with our tour players, there's always a lot of opinions on wedges. Some guys love one look, some guys love another look, and it's just certain things work for different players. And one thing that we kept hearing over and over again is there are a lot of players who the hard lines on the sole weren't quite working for. It became too aggressive. You'd swing down, it would actually cause the club to dig a bit. So with the T4 wedges, we wanted to make sure that that wasn't going to be an issue. We really wanted to make sure that it had all the relief that you need to have a very playable sole, but at the same time, it didn't have any of those hard edges that make the wedge too demanding. Right now, we're over at the Chipping Green over at the at Country Club of the South at the R&D Testing Center. All of our time is split between here over Country Club of the South and over at the main office, which is in Norcross, which is about eight miles from here. There we have our lab and we have all of our CAD work is all done there. That's where, that's where the bulk of the time is spent, but the fun time is the time that's spent here. It was really interesting when the, when the USGA and RNA announced the new groove regulations, the, uh, the whole industry kind of scrambled as to what is the perfect groove, and Mizuno was no different. We did a ton of testing of wide, shallow, narrow, deep, all sorts of different pitch versus depth variations. And it was interesting what we found out. On full shots and robotic shots, we found that a narrow, deep groove was really beneficial. Then when we thought that was going to be our final groove, we actually took it out to our players out at the Tour Championship. And a lot of them, they said it was great on full shots, but chipping around the green, they actually preferred one of the samples we had that was wider and shallower. So we did even more testing, led us to do some high-speed video of some short shots. And we found that really, when you get to more of a partial shot, more of a glancing blow with more loft, it's actually beneficial to have that wider, shallower groove. So from here, you're able to get under the ball and hit a shot that's gonna fly up and grab really quickly. That was pretty good, wasn't it? That grabbed nice. <laughs> so the slot in the back of the wedge, it's, um, it allowed us to move a little bit of weight around. You know, on a, on a wedge, you don't need a lot of toe heel weighting or anything. So this was just a little extra place where we could make sure that we took a little bit of mass from there and made sure we kept as much thickness as we could behind impact as well as high on the blade. That way, regardless of where you hit the ball, you're still gonna get that good solid feel. You know, a lot of wedges lately have been getting too thin up on the top line and what that causes is if you know when you're in deep grass a lot of times on a wedge you'll hit it high on the blade and when you do that it just feels terrible it goes nowhere so by keeping a lot of mass there you're able to make sure you have good solid feel as well as consistent distances i think one of the greatest things about this golf club is really the feel of it and when you hit this you know it feels like you hit a pure blade it's got that thump and you know it feels very solid feels soft and the club launches easy and it performs great throughout the turf my name is chris foshell and i'm part of mizuno's golf club engineering team